Also here in Moline. And we are now joined by the victorious Lady Bears. Head coach Kelly Harper is joined by Danielle Gitson and Ellie Ruffridge. And coach, if you could open up with a statement about today's contest. Yes. Well, we're obviously extremely excited to be playing on Sunday. And this Northern Iowa team is so tough. They are, they are just so tough to play against. Um, you know, we're, we're very fortunate. We were making shots and, and played well because you have to play well to continue to advance in this tournament. So I'm proud of our team and um, look forward to opportunity on Sunday. Thank you, Coach. Let's open up now for questions for the student athletes, questions for Danielle and Ellie. I mean, how good did it feel to have your biggest game in the biggest game of the year? I felt great. What a time to do it, right? Um, <laughs> credit to all my teammates who found me. Um, you know, and one of my big roles on the team is to shoot the ball, and I did just that, so I wouldn't have had those open shots without my teammates, so. What was the energy level like that entire second quarter? Oh, it was awesome. We we just kept flowing through it and feeding off of each other offensively and defensively, and um, we knew we had to get tough stops um, and couldn't let up at any point in the game because you and I, like Coach Kelly said, it was a phenomenal team, and they're going to play tough the entire game. Ellie, to do that in front of a crowd that, you know, for you and I, that was familiar with your name already, they were decidedly less excited about what you were doing during the game, but did that add a certain specialness to what you were able to accomplish? Very special. Um, like you said, a lot of people know my name here. Um, we're not in the state of Iowa, but there are a lot of Iowa people here, and to do it kind of in my home state, technically, not really, but um, it's pretty special. But I'm just so proud of this team, and uh, the most important thing is that we're moving on for tomorrow. Danielle, starting, you know, last season ended, this is exactly where you wanted to be mm -hmm. here. How do you feel? Uh, I feel pretty good. Um, yeah, definitely last year it was a little bit different outcome. And so I think um, for the returners, we kind of knew that. And we had a little fire under our butts, I guess. Um, and so, yeah, it definitely feels really good. And the team just played really well. Danielle, you had a 16-point lead during the first half. Then mm -hmm. you, you cut it to six uh, early in, in the start of the third quarter. What would change to get your offense back on track there? Um, I think that we kind of settled down a bit and then just put a lot of emphasis on our defense. Um, when we get stops, then our offense kind of flows a little better. Um, and so I think Kelly got into us a little bit and <laughs> um, really said, got to hammer down, get some stops. So I think that was definitely a big thing. Three-point shooting hasn't been really much of a part of your game this season, but boy, you guys were lighting it up from downtown today. Yeah, I think just um, getting the ball in everyone's hands, getting it in and out of the paint, um, making that extra pass um, definitely is helpful. I think almost everyone on the team was able to score today, and so I think that's definitely um, it's a really cool thing that we have and a good thing for our team in general. How much fun is it when everybody's scoring? Oh, it's so fun. And like, even like, I don't know if you saw our bench, but we were going crazy and just seeing and getting everyone, everyone has the ball in their hands or everyone um, gets a shot up. It's so much fun. So exciting. Danielle, how much since the last game of the regular season have you guys been looking forward to a possible rematch with Drake? Um, the last meeting with Drake. Yeah, um, I mean, obviously we were focused on each game. You can't overlook anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think we're excited. We're ready to go. Um, at the end of the day, though, we have to focus on ourselves, do our thing, um, making sure we're taking care of business. Ellie, does a game like today kind of give you guys more confidence? I mean, you've beaten this team once already, but. If oh, you play definitely. Like that, you probably won't lose tomorrow. Definitely. Um, and like Danielle was saying, I think if we just continue to do the things we've been doing all season, um, you know, it'll be what it'll, it'll be tomorrow. Um, we just got to come out ready to play and give it all we got because Drake isn't going to let up or, you know, just give it to us. It's going to be a battle. Mm -hmm. Danielle, what would it mean for you uh, to finish your, your Valley career beating Drake and go back to the dance? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like there's no words. It, it would just be amazing. That's, yeah. Anything else for the student athletes? Ladies, congratulations. Get back to locker room and celebrate. <laughs> and start getting ready for tomorrow's game. And then we'll continue with questions for Coach Kelly Harper. Coach, you think they can rewrite the rules and maybe schedule the championship game for about an hour? <laughs> right. <laughs> um, you know, it was, we'd like to continue that pace, that's for sure. What was uh, just, what was the game plan in the second quarter that kind of led to just that explosion? Was it 
just the shots were falling? I think so. Our, our game plan didn't change. It, we wanted to continue with our, uh, our normal attack. We were able to um, knock down shots. We were able to take good shots. And so, um, you know, we, it's one of those things that all, all things were clicking. You know, we, we did a really good job on the boards. Um, you know, so just offensively, we were, we were just really sharp and then made shots. When you make shots, uh, things go well. Season high in minutes, career high in points for Ellie. How confident were you with her her game today? You know, I, I've been saying that at some point this was going to happen. We knew this was going to happen, and, you know, she's had some frustrated times in her career already, and I'm so happy for her. I'm so ha I'm happy for our team, but I'm so happy for her because this was coming. We knew this was coming. We just didn't know when it was coming, and um, I, I, I couldn't be more thrilled. Coach, the cliche around basketball is it's a game of runs, and you guys seem to have lent that cliche a lot of credibility over two games so far. Is that something you credit just a tournament kind of feel, or what's causing that? Well, I, maybe because it, the cliche is true. You know, basketball is a game of runs, and I think, um, you know, once we, when we can get stops defensively, it a lot of times leads to good opportunities offensively, which will turn into a run for us. Um, I can't can't give you the negative runs, the reason for that one, but um, you know I think it the way the game is played, it just lends for that. And so we we really um, we we put get put together some big ones in the last two games. Coach, um, I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm going. Right. Uh, your, your first trip to Cedar Falls, you didn't have a three-pointer one despite that. Uh, you knocked down 11 there today. How, how did your team kind of advance or evolve as a, a perimeter shooting team uh, as the season's kind of progressed? Well, we hit one yesterday, I think. I don't know that we've evolved yet. We, we may make one. We may not. We, we've not really relied on the three-point shot this season. We have, we have gotten the ball to the paint much more than we have shot the three. Uh, I mean, pick up the stats and look at it. Uh, we're capable. I think we're capable. But we're, we've just not been a team that lives and dies by the three. And that's been okay. Um, you know, been, we've, we've had a game or two. It's been nice to have made a couple. But... Um, you know, hopefully we'll take good threes when they're open. And, you know, if we're open, hopefully we'll knock them down. Coach, you guys got off to a slow start last time you played Drake. And then really outplayed them the rest of the game. What's the keys for tomorrow? Oh, you've got to be locked in for 40 minutes. You know, you can from the tip to the finish. You, you have to play really focused basketball because they are so intelligent and take advantage of any mistakes you make. So uh, they're so good. They are really that good. And um, I think the biggest thing is, you, is just your focus and your ability to lock in and not take a possession off. Uh, you, you have to... Um, you know, you have to be alert, you have to be aware, especially defensively against them. Coach, we keep bringing up all throughout the year the possibility of what's going to happen tomorrow against Drake, and you kept saying it's one game at a time, we can't look ahead. Is it nice now to have that one game at a time be that game we keep talking about? Well, this is what we wanted. We wanted to get back to this position. We felt like Drake would have a good shot of being back there, and, um, you know, we're, we're playing for a championship on Sunday. So... That's what you want. You want to give yourself an opportunity. You know, we, we didn't do that last year. We, we didn't have that opportunity, and now we do. And uh, we'll see what happens, but we're, we're really excited that, uh, that we're playing tomorrow. You're a competitor. I mean, how much do you look forward to the challenge of going against Coach Bradshaw one more time with, with this group against hers? Well, she and I are not going to make a basket tomorrow. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think we're just, you know, it's just March Madness. It's just good teams playing, and there's, there's uh, a lot at stake, uh, at least for us, there is, you know, and so I, I, I'm excited about it. I think uh, basketball coaches, you got to love this time of year. I mean, the, the intensity and the, the pressure and um, the grit that teams are going to have, you, you've got to love this time of year. Um, it's, it's so unique. You know, it's so unique, and it's, it's what makes it so much fun. Coach, when you, I don't know if you've encountered the situation before where a team in a championship, one is going to be in no matter what, and the other one needs that win to get in. Have you found that there is a difference in the competitiveness there, or is it pretty much both teams are going out there for pride? Yeah, both teams are going out there to win this. Both teams are going out to win. Um, uh, you know, I think, I think there's, a lot, there's a lot of uh, competitiveness on both teams, and uh, that's what you're going to see tomorrow. Coach, thank you very much. All right. Good luck thank in your you guys. for direct.
Congratulations. Congratulations.